Why isn't your pen pal an alien? Some people believe they have met with extraterrestrial intelligence or have witnessed extraterrestrial flying vehicles. Unfortunately, none of those contacts has ever been confirmed. It does not discourage scientists around the globe as they continue to search for signals and clues of extraterrestrial intelligence. The SETI program, for example, is a joint effort to listen to as many radio signals as we can from outer space, hoping to detect an artificial message. We have sent some ourselves, like the Arecibo message, all the plaques attached to the Pioneer 10 and 11 spacecrafts. We are building and launching space telescopes in the hope of discovering more and more exoplanets, planets that orbit around stars other than our Sun. The astronomer Frank Drake came up with an equation to estimate the number of active civilizations in our galaxy. That number is the average rate of star formation in our galaxy multiplied by the probability that a star has at least one planet, multiplied by the probability that a given planet can support life, multiplied by the probability that a planet supporting life actually develops life at some point, multiplied by the probability that life develops a civilization, multiplied by the probability that a civilization releases detectable signs of existence in outer space, all of that multiplied by the average existence of a technological civilization. After all, as humans, we only started to release such signs of existence very recently with the advent of radio communications. There are a lot of unknowns in the Drake equations, but the numbers we know are quite high. The more we look, the more we realize that almost every star has planets and that a lot of them might be in the inhibility zone of their star. According to the Drake equation, that would mean a lot of civilizations in our galaxy alone. But despite all those efforts, we are currently feeling alone on our small planet. The discrepancy between Drake's equation and our observations is called Fermi's paradox. Are we looking in the wrong place? Maybe we don't yet have the tools to discover other intelligence. Another explanation could be that one of the unknown terms of Drake's equation is actually very, very low. This hypothesis is called the Great Barrier. It might be really rare for life to develop a civilization, so rare that we would be alone in our galaxy. The Great Barrier would be behind us. But what if all very advanced civilizations face the same problem of auto-destruction through pollution and wars and have a very short lifespan? That would mean that the Great Barrier is ahead of us. Being alone would not be good news. The fact that we don't observe extraterrestrial intelligence might be one more reason to start collaborating and care together about the future of our planet.